here we are. Um, we kind of were all sort of, I, I kind of think we all sort of knew this was coming. Um, and ironically, um, I, I think it was o only until we finally started to go, all right, I guess we're really getting a movie that this happened. Uh, so just a couple thoughts. First of all, if you're, I'm going to guess that you are feeling very similar to me. Um, for the last few months, I've kind of just been numb to this whole situation. Uh, I, 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 I'm, I was struggling to even feel much of anything because I, I just sort of felt like that I didn't want to let myself get excited. And honestly, you know, after the crushing experience back in February, um, it was it, even if I knew the film was coming out, first of all, it, it wouldn't have been the same experience. Um, but I think even having had that experience, it was hard for, for, for me to personally to just to, to get that same level of excitement again. Um, so, yeah, I mean, so so two, like I said, two basic ideas I just wanted to pitch. One is just the, the kind of irony. I mean, honestly, no one is really surprised by this except for the fact that, boy, they were working really, really hard to convince us, no, 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 you're getting a film in November. Uh, I mean, just in this last week, we were bombarded. We got a new podcast. We got the new video by Billie Eilish. We got posters. We got a new soundtrack. I just saw the soundtrack listings today and got really excited by what I saw. One of them, I won't show a clip here because one of them, I think it has a potential to be spoilerish. So if you're avoiding spoilers, I won't even mention it, but I'll just simply say, if you did see it, you probably know what I'm talking about. And I got pretty excited by it. Um, so yeah, I mean, talk about a Lucy and Charlie Brown situation. Talk about pulling out the football, just as you kind of let yourself be convinced. I think this is actually happening. This time I'm gonna kick that football clear to the moon. Ah! Um, in fact, just this morning I was talking to Dave Zritsky and I, 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 we were saying, I guess we, I mean, like it took us this long to kind of just go, I guess we're getting it. I mean, we, we, we kind of made the decision. Yeah, it's happening. We were still kind of kicking around the possibility. Do you think there's going to be a video on demand element? I mean, I know they really want to do a theatrical experience. Um, I have a hunch that if I was sort of eavesdropping in, in the offices of Eon, that the, the I, I'd be kind of struggling with the idea because the, the, the prestige of a theatrical release not being there doing kind of video on demand thing. Um, but that's where our heads were. We, we made the decision, but yeah, but it's whatever they do, it's happening in November. So again, it's like, like, it's like they waited until we were finally convinced that we were getting a movie to do this. And, and I, I, like I said, I, I'm not pointing fingers and I'm not saying it's the wrong decision. Let me be clear. Um, in fact, I'll even talk more about that in a little bit. Um, I, but, but again, it's just so strange to me that they put so much effort, new trailers, uh, again, all the other stuff, uh, posters, podcasts, they, they, like when could they have possibly made this decision? Was it just today? Was it just in the last few hours? And by the way, as I'm recording this, I, I just saw word that they took uh, President Trump to Walter Reed um, because he's got the COVID. Uh, could that have been the, the straw that broke the camel's back? Maybe, maybe. Um, but again, I have to imagine that this conversation has been going on over there for quite some time. And you'd think that somebody would say, well, let's just ease back on all the marketing because we're not positive yet. Uh, but they went full force. And the, the analogy I kept making is like if you're walking down the street and you're right about to step in a pothole and you don't want to twist your ankles, you have like a split second to decide, do I try to catch my balance and pull back or do I just sort of leap forward to leap across the, the, uh, the pothole? And they were leaping forward. They were leaping forward. So, so now, again, we have a situation where all this marketing was done. Everything was in place. They did all these things. Now they're going to have to do it again in April. And I, I, 
right? I mean, literally, more rounds of trailers in April, more stuff, more attempts at 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 marketing and ginning up excitement. I don't know. I I just don't. I guess that's what's gonna happen. But I don't know. I, I'm starting to feel like even the most hardcore Bond fan is getting sick of no time to, to, to die, and it's not even here. Um, anyway, but 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 okay. That's the down. Let me sort of talk about the up, and I'm gonna say something that might be a tiny bit controversial. Personally. I'm pretty happy with this. And and I know people are going to be like, what are you talking about? What are you smoking? Look, I, honestly, when I say that I've sort of been numb to the, to the whole thing for the last year, I'm, I'm not exaggerating. I mean, I literally, it's been a struggle to sort of um, hold that level of excitement. Wait, months ago, it was like, do we just give Bond a break for a few months? Do we try to keep this going? Um, as a content creator, we tried to up some of the output a little bit um and you know I, I spread out my videos a little bit filled it with a couple um ranking videos um so so again i was already sort of coping with the idea like i don't even want to let myself get too excited um but the the personal part of this is that honestly i was saying to myself if it comes out in november with things still being the way they are you're going to kind of go to the cinema wearing a mask, sitting far apart. I don't even, I really don't even know what the movie theater situation is at this moment. Um, if it is a, a video on demand situation, is that kind of lackluster? And, you know, we would, we'd make the best of it. But, but honestly, I said to myself, but if we, like I said, we've waited this long. We waited five years for this movie. Now it's six. It's officially six years, by the way. It's officially six years now between films for no good reason no lawsuits no nothing six years uh, um, and when I say no good reason COVID is a good reason but again had they taken care of this that's one of the things that drives me nuts if if just one of those times when they push the date forward a couple of weeks if they just didn't do that one time I mean they, there was multiple changes in, in the date if just once if it was if it was still that Valentine's Day date the movie, movie would be over. We, we, we would have seen it. We would have gone. We would have had a blast. Scott and I would probably already be doing our, our revisited podcast. We'd all be watching the Blu-ray. We'd be kind of going back and doing more reviews about it. Um, but anyway, again, I, I'll just say it. I'm breathing a little bit of a sigh of relief today because I, I, I really feel like f for the film to come out now, it would have to be anticlimactic at this point um and again i have no clue if like like i'm not even i'm not even saying oh well if april you know maybe in april maybe things will be better maybe we'll get a full-blown premiere it'll be like a celebration the return of 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 going out to the cinema we're we're, we're gonna get a full-blown red carpet treatment and and everything and we can travel again and um, I'm, I don't even know if that's the case, and that's not really wh where my head is at this point. I haven't a clue. Uh, but I, I just think that if we let the, the, the dust settle on this whole thing, um, it'll be better for everyone. I think people will enjoy it. And again, I'm, I'm laughing at myself because the irony is that, I mean, when February got canceled, I was crushed and I said so. You know, I came right out and I, I said I was just beside myself i mean and i had a a a, 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 a full-blown european tour three countries three european cities multiple premieres parties you know uh visiting with, with bond friends it was going to be the bond mecca um so yeah i mean but and again and i kind of thought i was stressing look i i i can feel i can understand that this is probably the the, the smart thing to do i i said from the get-go i said i know there were people who were pushing for this a lot of people are upset with those people i said look i got it at least you know tip my hat to the guys who were the adults and said let's not do this but you can still make the right decision and still be d disappointed and i got a lot of flack you know like you're only you only care because this affects you personally and and, then, and you only care about a movie you don't care about people and i'm like hey, look 
whatever. I'm not going to rehash that. But here, here now, it's it's sort of done a 180, where I'm saying to myself, on a on a personal level this time, I'm a little more relieved that they are going to wait because I just think it's going to be more fun, more exciting. If again, if the smoke has settled and and we can relax, enjoy ourselves, go out afterwards, have drinks, parties, and do whatever. Um, so that's it. I, 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 that's really all I have to say about this. I, I kind of feel like, ironically, no one is, no one is particularly surprised. You know, I mean, it's kind of, um, I, I, I mean, are you surprised by this? Did this really shock you? I, I, I think we're all just sort of like, again, just what we knew was coming. So what did you build us up for? I mean, even months ago, I mean, I think even as, as recently as, or as far back as at least a month, month and a half, I had people telling me straight out, like, like they really seem like they're doing this. Do you think they're just setting this up for a big letdown? And I'm like, I don't know. Why would they? But again, you, you think they would have seen this coming at least just a few weeks ago. So why not hold back on the podcast? Why not hold back on posters and soundtracks until they're sure? I don't know. It, it's look hashtag fuck 2020 <laughs> i'll just say it uh this has been the year from hell a god-awful year nothing positive comes out of this year as far as i can tell i'm praying it gets better but uh th i think this is a year that people will never forget because it was just just the, the craziest craziest year and just just chock full of awfulness <laughs> um i'll leave it at that listen guys chin up you know don't take it too hard again i i, I do feel like and this is just me talking take it with a grain of salt but i i kind of feel like come april we'll be glad that we kind of waited and had a better experience with the film instead of trying to hodgepodge together a solution to get it out in november uh, so with that, I'm making peace with this. I'm, I'm totally zen with this whole thing at this point. Like I said, I, and again, I was I was kind of prepped for it anyway, but there you go. It's your good buddy had a section. Stay tough. We're going to get get through this. Oh, by the way, happy f***ing global James Bond day on Monday. Uh, but <laughs> uh, your good buddy, Dave Zaritsky, he's got stuff. He always has things lined up. We're going to do a full-blown uh, uh, Zoom chat. People are welcome. Uh, please join for that. I know it's going to be a couple members of the Bond community there that you will not want to miss. Uh, and there you go. As always, we will make the best of things. So I will see you on Monday. Try to enjoy your weekend. Talk to you soon.